Hi, I'm Kathy Turner, and this dental office is a Healthy Start provider. I'm a mom and a grandmother, and this Healthy Start little appliance has changed my grandchildren's lives. Can you even imagine the idea of straightening teeth without braces? And yet, Healthy Start says, really, that's just the icing on the cake. So I invite you, please spend a few minutes with us and find out what Healthy Start might do for your children. Maybe at half the price of braces. If you have a child between the age of two and preteen, you may be looking at a situation that has you concerned. But would you love to know that you could go from this to this? From an overbite to a beautiful smile? From crowded teeth to perfectly aligned? From a crossbite to again, teeth coming in naturally in place? Would it be wonderful to see a happy smile with a beautiful profile? Would it be great if this were all something that they could do while they were sleeping? Without drugs, without any discomfort, teeth being guided into place with an appliance that has produced results around the world and it is simply worn while they are sleeping. This device aligns so the development comes in place, the tongue is at the roof of the mouth and not the bottom, the air comes now through the nose and not the mouth, and it allows for the gentle, natural expansion of the jaw so that when the permanent teeth come in, they are aligned perfectly for a great smile without braces. Big, healthy, open airway, okay? Almost no airway. Almost totally pinched off, underdeveloped. She's, she's way back here instead of being out. So when, when we use this appliance, it's going to bring this forward and it's going to open that airway. Not really getting anything in right Listen now. to this mother describe her baby's sleep disorder breathing. Yeah, it's been a few seconds. There he goes. Now watch what happens when she's okay. able to open the airway by simply shifting the position of his jaw. Now watch what happens when I take his jaw and I just bring it forward. If I can, let's see if I can. And I open his airway. Just bring his airway forward. They don't get enough oxygen, so they don't get reparative sleep. Um, it's about my cousin Justin, who lost his life to sleep apnea, and his roommate had gone in and found that Justin had swallowed his tongue at night, and um, we lost him to something that could have been prevented if we had known about this type of technology. Because your body is going to do everything it can to get oxygen. You can't do a home sleep test on a child who's under 18. So we're like, well, how can we do it? What can we do? If we could get to them when they're young, they won't have the problems when they're old. And that's how we found this, this product. It's been a, a whirlwind journey. It's been phenomenal. Now you have all these parents calling us you know, with their stories and testimonials about what they're doing and how they're you know, getting along with school and brothers and sisters and bedwetting and crowding and... I mean, it's just remarkable. You can get the Healthy Start, and it will straighten your teeth without braces. It won't be painful. Right here, mm -hmm. in the cross bite, and these two teeth right here are um, in front of the two main teeth. What do you think if you could have that? Smile. So you could smile and be happy with it? Yeah. So having been 20 years in the industry, now being convinced of what this will do, is there any reason that you wouldn't want to use this? No. Is I, there anyone who couldn't benefit? I think everyone could benefit. What was the using. word you used for this? It was the bridge um, that we needed in orthodontics. It was This was the bridge that we needed in orthodontics. Did you call it a movement? It is a movement. <laughs> The children who, now adults, who are treated with orthotain don't have TMJ problems. 
they do not have relapse, so they're not Invisalign patients. They're our favorite recare, you know, hygiene recare patients because their teeth are straight. They don't have a lot of buildup. They don't have a lot of decay. So while they're not profitable, they are our healthiest patient. This device you put in your mouth, it makes your if you have like a little space, it helps your space close in, and you wear it every night. It lets my tongue not go forward. It just kind of pushes it backward. So it keeps it in place so it doesn't keep moving your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Okay, tell me what it's like to sleep with that. It's kind of, it feels kind of funny when you just get it, but when you get used to it, it feels fine. Yes, yeah, I, we had no idea what was causing it. So to us, it was a mystery as to why that was there. We thought it was something genetic. And to find out that it was just a simple way that she was holding her tongue at night and pushing it forward, and this device eliminating that, it's a, we're glad to know that it's not something that their teeth were gonna grow back in the same way. This is actually something that can be corrected early on in a very, in a way that she doesn't mind at night when she's sleeping. And it's, it's working while she's actually getting better rest. Can you imagine if I could do 800 squats every night in my sleep? How amazing my legs would be, right? So if you can do 800 um, swallows a night to retrain that tongue, how great is that? And I can't predict how quickly a child's gonna adapt to that, which is why we partner. It truly is a partnership with the parents. And we say we're in this for as long as it takes. Nice to meet you. Elijah and his sister Sasha finally come in for their evaluation. Dr. Taha and her assistant Danielle take a general history, an observation from the parents or family as she examines her two new young patients. Elijah is 11 and Sasha is 10, so they're aware that the best window of treatment is starting to narrow. The clock is ticking. As they get older, the bones are setting and movement of the teeth slows and comes to a near end when they reach puberty. The doctor prepares a full report as she measures and records, takes pictures from every angle, standard x-rays, and may take an extended view. Next, they take a mold to replicate the exact interior of the mouth as a final piece of the picture for sizing and best impact. Dr. Taha shows me what she sees and explains the next steps of sharing all of this with the team of doctors at Orthotain. You see the lower, uh -huh. the lower teeth overlapping. The right, upper. should be the opposite. The reason for this crowding is is the incomplete un grow or you know insufficient grow of the jaw for the upper and the lower. Okay. So it's not going to be like separate upper and lower. So it's going to mm. work on both. What we are doing here is trying to help the the, the natural grow. Of the, you know of the jaw of the bone, we're trying to correct the you know the problems that happens earlier in their kid in the kid's life when they're not you know when, when they are not given the right you know diet or you know breastfeeding and this stuff. In history, uh, when women had time to breastfeed, the child's whole oral cavity was developed in the proper you know width height. Uh, you know a lot of times there weren't even, there wasn't even decay. And now, with the way the the everything is is industrialized, that um, without the mom breastfeeding for you know a good two years, uh, they need harder vegetables uh, to actually develop the jaws. And if we do it earlier, we will get much better results than do it later. And if we didn't do anything, what would be the next step for him? If we haven't done anything, I have the orthodontist. <laughs> result in the orthodontist were telling them, you know what, you don't need treatment, just wait. And then when they waited, they came back, they had bicuspids extracted and, uh, in other words, permanent teeth extracted. And I wasn't real happy with what the profiles and, and the, what was happening with their TMJ and what was happening with their airways. It's always been my patients were always like, you know, I went to this orthodontist and they want to take out my son's teeth and I don't want to, what do you think? And I was, all, I, I, ne I was always like, you know what, that's not good. Here, where we are, the average case for orthodontics uh, for braces is between five and 7,000. So if it's, you know, to do healthy start, we're half that price. And so, um, you know, you're half that price, you solve all the issues, all the problems, all the airway, future sleep apnea, and as the bonus, 
the, the cherry on top of the cake is you have straight teeth. And I see a difference in her teeth are actually starting to kind of self-adjust, which is shocking to me, but I can see a difference. It's very common for orthodontists to wait and watch until a kid is 12. Now all the, all the teeth have erupted, and what do you know, those permanent teeth are bigger than the baby teeth. There's so much crowding. Well now what are we going to do? The kid's done growing. We need all this space and we can't, uh, we can't find it. The only way we can get it is to take healthy teeth out. So we're going to take out these premolars on the top and bottom. That's commonly what happens. Take out all four. Or worse yet, only take out two. And you know, Dr. Bergson actually, um, I was so fortunate just to listen to him talk. And sometimes I'll throw a question and I ask him very point blank um, that exact question. I have a patient, an orthodontist who sends a kid over for extractions and you know, it, it, I just don't feel right about it. And his response was, don't do it. had given the opportunity to use this appliance and, and then not to go through that extractions, not to lose their premolars anymore. So they would have like all their set of 32 teeth. Inside. I'm really glad that we found out about it because again, I was not comfortable with what the orthodontist was telling me. Cause I just didn't, I didn't understand why teeth needed to come out in order to make a good smile. It's much easier to sleep and I have to close my lips all the way because if I open it, like that won't really do anything. So I have to close it, and the first night, it was, I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to sleep in it, but now I'm like, this is so easy, like, I could do this, like, it's just so easy. When I brush my teeth, I pull it on, and when I go to sleep, I keep it on. It's not bedtime, they, they just want to go to sleep, so their cooperation is very high as far as, you know, putting an appliance in and have them wear it. Now, as a practitioner, I wanted her to start early because the ligaments that are around her teeth I haven't formed yet. Um, they're still trying to form in there. So, as far as you know, when she, when those teeth do become permanent on there, um, they'll be able to get straight and um, you know have less uh, of, of a of a relapse. It's a huge difference when I compare her smile to her friends of her same age group. Like some of my friends, these the front two teeth will be kind of spread apart and then they and then, then these two teeth won't won't have any room to grow in. He Why said lucky? so lucky you get a retainer. My braces pop like once three weeks. Yeah. Oh stinks. Yeah it just seems like so much more work for the parents and the kids and just a lot of pain that they can be um, saved from. <laughs> and at first I thought I didn't want it. <laughs> And then after a few nights, I felt like I liked it. I liked it. If he had a runny nose or a cough or anything, I mean, he was up and down all night long. You breathe through your nose when you have it, and you breathe through your mouth when you don't have it. Then it kept my tongue from pushing my teeth. And will his tongue stay in place because he's retrained it? It will. They looked sideways and crooked in all the ways that my mom has them. So those are permanent teeth there in the front. Look how straight they are. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're right where they're supposed to go and where they need to be and he'll never have that anterior crowding or that spacing issue that so many people have. Both of his parents have that spacing issue and so they wanted better for him so those teeth are right there and he'll never have relapse because the periodontal ligament fibers attached right to those teeth right where they needed to go. This was not a hard choice because it wasn't very expensive and for the you know, lifetime benefit that he's going to get. I just am so thankful that there is a simple, painless way that they can go about it and something that just works into your normal daily routine. Thanks for teaching my teeth a lesson. I love Theodore, my habit changer. That's what I named him. So happy to know that I won't need braces. I wish I knew about this before I was 11. Now I tell everyone, P.S. Don't wait.